See what a little cardboard can do, Dan? Man, nice work, Jim. Digging as always. Surprised we got it back. Fastball, then a strike. And Diaz had a base hit from the Cardinals. They only have two on the night. Here's Johnny Peralta. And a strike. Peralta flied out to right, first time up. Fred Bird asked then manager Joe Torre if he could fire t shirts into the crowd as a way to kind of, you know, get the fans going again after the strike. And Got a one for three. And a five run inning for the Cardinals. Strike to Diaz. He came up with the bases loaded in that inning and took pitch. Those in the immediate family have been just huge in helping out the sports world here in our community and so many different things that go on in St. Louis. Here at the ballpark, and now it's Tommy Pham. Top of the lineup for the Cardinals, and the first pitch is taken for a strike. So two outs and nobody on. Here's Steven Piscotti. Pitchers, and it should be the easiest pitch to control. First pitch to Johnny. Take it for a strike. Adam Wainwright said that he had runner at first. That's a let Miss Diaz. Breaking ball and a strike. First time up, he's seen roster, and you had a big smile and said, really a great kid. Well, we'll get to see him. First pitch is strike. Came back up and hit him during that Kansas City series. He missed three games. That was right before the Brewers got to town. He actually came back and was in the starting lineup to Milwaukee. Can't wait to see that. Great artifacts. If you love the history of the game, Tyler Thornburg will enter now. So the Brewers have the lead. Tough break. Now it's Grichuk. Now Molina just he hasn't hit the long ball most organizations that he's been with most people who know him don't know him as a starter until this season and Lee and last night got a on that bat a pinch hit at bat and delivered not just with him into a, one of their team actions when they get a base hit and Garrow will face Colton Wong. It's only hitting 241. Starts him with a hook. Will they have him try to lay one down here? Indeed. There's a back though. Strike one. First pitch from Zach Davies. After post game. Nothing decided in this one. The Pirates are down two. Through the full rehab schedule with that hamstring. I'm sure, he's trying to ease his way back. There's a good breaking ball for a strike. Yeah, that's a good curveball, that knuckle curve that Jimmy. So it'll be first and second for Contreras. <laughs> lead off for Chicago. He hit a lead off home run last night in his first game back from the disabled list. Had three hits. Davies starts him with strike one, and away we go. Get a shot in the second, but right at VR. He's uh, playing more up the middle right now. His blue kicks going here tonight. Yeah, Michael Bourne was able to get the second on a hit and an error. See his numbers: 13 home runs allowed. He's having a pretty good month of July when you consider earned run average, but he's only one and two in a 260. Arizona. Now, the former Brewer Gene Segura back in the third spot in the lineup for the Diamondbacks. Center field predominantly. He's guilty of three of them here tonight. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. And just a disaster. Strikes early in the count. That makes uh, sure it gives you a sense you don't have to throw strikes late in the count. Slash VCL. All right, thanks, Telly. 
top of the fifth we go four five and six hitters in the order for Arizona that means Paul Gold take uh, opportunities as they present themselves regardless of what the score is and Craig Council doing just that with blazing. Sealed in the big leagues. Yeah, offensively and defensively, these guys can run run them down in the outfield. In his debut as a Chicago Cub, Matt. Yeah, Telly, thanks. Business picking up as we approach the hit game and hitting a home run. He'll get it going. I mean, you think about it. The last few years for the Pirates, they really your names as well around here: Johnny Logan and Del Crandall. There's a great story re, uh, involving Joe Edcock, you know, under the bus, and you team guy. You didn't do you it. That is, that's my fault. Wow, see, that's that, that's that's big time. The Cardinals, they only have two on the night. Here's Johnny Peralta, and a strike. Peralta flied out to right, first time up. Fred Bird asked then manager Joe Torre if he could fire T-shirts into the crowd as a way to kind of. You know, get the fans going again after the strike and welcome. Got he one for three. And a five run inning for the Cardinals. Strike to Diaz. He came up with the bases loaded in that inning and took pitch. Those in the immediate family have been just huge in helping out the sports world here in our community. And so many different things that go on in St. Louis. Here at the ballpark, and now it's Tommy Pham. Top of the lineup for the Cardinals, and the first pitch is taken for a strike. We're in the bottom of the fourth, and it's 1 1. Here's Brandon Moss. Breaking ball and a strike. Two outs, and a runner at first base, and here's Tommy Pham. First pitch, a strike. Walked and scored back. Here's Colton Wong and looks at a strike. Five two it. of those come around to score. And and Dan, I think what you know, Craig Council. Twenty six and fourteen, twelve of the last fifteen. Ben Revere, base it to right. Twenty six and fourteen, twelve of the last fifteen. Ben Revere, base it to right. High strike. Honest with you, I, I stopped listening about halfway through that throw, wondering if you were in peril. So please pick up where you left off, Sophia. <laughs> well, now that we've got our safety concerns. Now you trade a major league utility man, which is that's a good role to have. Not diminishing that role whatsoever, but Carpenter is it. facing Garza for the first time in his career. I gotta tell you what, he is he loaded, still only one out. First pitch to Carpenter is taken for his strike. Has been used exclusively as an outfielder since his recall, and he says he's getting more confident there. You mentioned he's really good friends with Randall Gritchick, who was the Cardinal center fielder before. Cardinals history and the giveaways and the celebrities throughout the year. And uh, he saved that for so many years. Marty passed away on Fort Fred Bird asked then manager Joe Torre if he could fire t shirts into the crowd as a way to kind of. You know, get the fans going again after the strike and welcome. So two outs and nobody on. Here's Steven Piscotti. They throw him a fastball for a strike. They're crazy. That one was cutting in on him. Into the left field bullpen. So Jason Worth's batting average now up to two. 